so we've seen the last few months the amount of people been killed on the road every day of the week you hear on the news you hear on the radio you hear on social media uh, so many young people particularly being killed and it's, it's a very sad thing to see because they're in the prime of their life going to in one instant a mother and you remember going to their deaths you know and tragedy struck um, and especially you know for young people in the prime of their life being taken in such a tragic and on unho- a horrific way um, it's something that particularly nobody should you know no family should ever have to come to terms with and there's a lot that can be done in world safety there's a lot that can be done in this country to try and reduce it but at the end of the day we have to be honest with ourselves you know we simply cannot play God um, you know you could do every, we could do everything to try and stop world deaths and stuff like that but at the end of the day it just takes a second for something to go wrong um, so, but obviously there's ways you can reduce it and stuff like that so the government have suggested particularly in national well, our roads really that there'll be a, a decreased speed now I understand back country roads I'm sure people would, would say in some back country roads particularly going out to Lock Hooter and Cavan you'd be well literally going at some of the roads of 80 and a back country road with big bends like literally huge bends where you can't even see what's coming the other side and they're saying you could do 80 on that road you know so you know it's understandable in them areas, but in other areas, you know, it doesn't make sense why they would want people to go at a slow pace. So obviously through towns and villages, they want to make it totally, which is understandable. You know, you should be going through towns and villages very slow. Because uh, again, people be walking around in front of cows. God forbid a child could go out in front of a cow, you know, a dog, a cat, and make the cow swerve. You know, injuring people, that's happened. Um, people tried to fight animals on the road and end up hitting somebody on the road because they're trying to the fight as well. Um, like there's many, many things, but the one thing I have to say is you need enforcement. You need the enforcement. So obviously there's less scouts in the world policing unit than there ever was in the country uh, in a long, long time. So obviously people retire and people leave on Gala Sheen O'Connor. Um, but that's the way you're going to do it, by enforcing. People, particularly, again, this is the main, main culprit. It's people on the phones the way I see it because people are not concentrated and they're too busy on their phones talking. You're not a hundred percent concentrated in the world. You're too busy talking to your phone or talking or messaging or whatever. I've seen I see it literally every day, every day on the road, uh, and it's a danger. It is a danger. It just takes a second, like it literally. It's not even a second. It's an instant that something can go wrong. An instant, like you don't even have time to react, you know. And that instant is life or death, um. Like it, it simply something could just happen, and that that could be the end of it. Um, like that's what I'm saying. It it's that dangerous. It's like, and I think you know, people don't understand that when you go behind the wheel of a cow, you're going behind the wheel of a machine. Uh, particularly again, this is the thing with a lot of young people, a lot of men, young men particularly, they think that you know the one stoppable. You know, I think everybody would agree that you know you take your one stop and stuff like that in the car and that you know that won't happen and things like that but it can happen and the unfortunate reality is we don't know what can happen an hour's time from now you know and that's the sad reality we can never predict the future we can't predict five minutes in front of us we we simply don't know we're going into the abyss we, we simply cannot judge what can happen and that's the sad reality of life we just don't know uh, and it's important obviously to be on your guard and stuff like that and to, to know what you're doing um, so yeah obviously they need to reduce in some areas I mean, obviously I do take the local authority and local community stuff people uh, have a role to play in this I don't think nat- the government the national government uh, I think it should be up to the local authority municipal authorities and stuff to say what's the most safest on each road because obviously the municipal authorities will have a better idea on each road like there's one or two roads out here a uh, Lockhoot going out to Lockhoot and Cavan I'm sure the local authority and municipal, uh, municipal authority would say 10 at most in some of these areas because the literally if you hit like one or two words i can take at the top of my head literally this potholes is the size of fucking mouths excuse my language but you, if you hit one of them you're literally larger than the space let's put that way so literally about 10 miles an hour on that road might be appropriate to be totally honest because it, it's that dangerous you will literally end up in the ditch if you wet at high speed in the potholes because the pothole will literally just launch you into christmas um like not even joking you like it's it's that bad in some of the roads around here uh, and some of the back roads probably in Kerry and stuff like that like you couldn't do 80 like you'd be you literally are taking your life in your hand if you're going at 80 on some of these roads it's understandable 
But that's the same enforcement too for people on their phones. You know, there's loads of drink drivers. Unfortunately, people haven't people haven't learned that drinking and drinking and driving doesn't work as simple as that. Same with cocaine and drugs. You know, it's a, it's a stupid thing. You're putting not only are you putting yourself in danger, you're putting members of the public in danger. Uh, if you want to go and bang yourself into a wall or something like that, you know, feel free, but don't take an innocent child or an innocent parent with their child life with you. You know, we don't do that. I've heard so many stories uh, across the world of people going out drinking and on drugs and going behind the wheel of a cow and taking the mother, a mother in a child's life senselessly, you know, just because they decided to be stupid and to go behind the wheel of a cow being drunk or, you know, uh, on drugs you know it, it's these simple things you know you know we have to we have to get them right first uh, and there's many things too it's, it's in different areas like as you say junctions particularly around here and cabin thankfully there's been a lot of upgrading but this is the thing too what there's, there's too much fucking bureaucracy excuse my language but even with the junctions here on the west cabin like the amount of fucking bureaucracy just do the fucking junction don't worry about where the money's coming from if the money's there do it don't be arsing about um, you know, just do it. Like, literally, don't stand there talking about it on the radio for five years. Do it. Like, if you have the money, if you have to find the money from somewhere, if you have to take it out of your own pocket to some of these councillors to do it, instead of looking for votes and stuff like that and looking for people to say, oh, I vote you in the next election if you do it and stuff like that, just do it. Like, I, I, you know, like in some parts of Kevin, I don't know they're waiting for an invitation to be done for people to ask them to do it. Um, but if you see a problem, you should. In, act on it soon as humanly possible. Now, I know it takes time for money to process, but that's what I'm saying. The bureaucracy has to stop in some of these junctions and stuff and the world repairs and stuff like that. It just has to be... Basically, the money should just be there and, you know, the council crews, they should be just saying, go and do it. So, but here's the money, do it. You know, here's all the material, do it. You know, don't be going to this all bureaucracy where the councils have to vote and have to have a big discussion and stuff like that. Uh, do it. And it's, it's, it's another thing too... That it should be up to the local authority. Like, this thing with contractors getting from Northern Ireland and stuff like that. It shouldn't be a thing. It should be up to the local authority. Like, this is another thing. It takes time for to get contractors and stuff. And get a contract agreed to do this world and money. Like, it's all bureaucracy, really. And that's holding up a good bit, too. Um, Like, it should be just the local authority. It'd be a lot quicker if they had the local authority men doing it. But again, this is the thing. They want to privatise everything. But, yeah, that's just my that's just my view on it. That it's too much bureaucracy in terms of doing junctions, repairing junctions, making it safer. Take for example in some parts of the cabin here, they made bigger side lanes. So basically if you meet the pull-in or something like that, beforehand you would only have this length and now you have a bit more distance, you know. Uh, improved mark and improved signage and stuff like that. And even for that, you know, it took a good few months for them to get around to it. Um, and obviously I, I do, I'm not blaming individuals and stuff like that because obviously... It's bureaucracy. It's just having to get the money, looking for the money to do it, and getting the contract and stuff. It all takes time. I understand. I've seen it. Uh, I know. I know myself. I've looked into it, and I've seen uh, how long you know, all this takes. It takes time and it takes effort and stuff. I understand that, and I. But it's the fact that there's too much bureaucracy in what needs to be done. Um. You know, it should be speeded along a bit. Like it shouldn't be as much regulations as there is because at this stage. You know, it's nearly stopping people from doing anything, to be totally honest. Uh, like the, should, the money should be there, let's put it that way. Um, it's the same with many things, you know. But I think there also needs to be a greater um, change in the driving test, particularly. Because, you, you know, it, the old driving test, what we have now, is very out of date, let's put it that way to modern times like we have scooters we have electric bikes years ago you would you wouldn't have them kind of things you know you, m many things have changed based on the roads and stuff like that uh, there's a lot more cars on the road things like that and the, the driving test from back years ago hasn't really changed and it needs to change to reflect uh, the differences on the road and stuff like that like just the sheer amount of cars compared to maybe even people doing the driving test in the 80s and 90s would have never imagined to be this many cars driving around the roads and bikes and God only knows what else. But, you know, nobody would ever imagine it back then. But uh, it needs to be changed, it needs to be adapted. Uh, and it needs to be locked into how we could change it a bit more, to, uh, better, to make it better, to make it more flexible. Uh, and to make it more, you know, to the point, you know, instead of all this crack. 
and especially um, with young people particularly to say you know you have to take driving seriously it's not you know you have to own it basically that you have the right to be on the road which is the thing you know if you you know if you're going to misbehave or anything like that on the road you shouldn't have a license as simple as that you're putting members of the public in danger it's it's a serious thing it's not a game basically it's not grand theft auto you can't just jump into the game and it doesn't have any effect on reality if you go behind the wheel and drive dangerously you're at risk of killing yourself first of all but killing members of the public that are innocent people going about the daily day lives and you could put many families heartache for years and years to come it's a very, it's a serious thing life is you know, it's a it's a treasure but at the same time it can it can it can it can be taken away in a split second and that's what we need to get into people's heads too that it's not a game it's reality unfortunately thank you